Perfect. So here we are in the next exercise where LearnPack is showing us the similarities between HTML elements and a typical Word document. For example, the P tag used for paragraphs is similar to a paragraph in a Word document. The strong tag represents bold text. The H1 tag represents a large heading, while the H2 tag represents a smaller heading. The A tag is used for links or anchors in our website. The UL tag is used for unordered lists. Now, let's go over the instructions for this exercise. We only need to add a P tag and don't forget to close it. In this case, Visual Studio Code will automatically complete the tag for us. Then we need to add the text that LearnPack is asking us to include. Finally, we press the Run button to build our website. As we can see, the website that appears as the result is similar to the expected image provided by LearnPack. Let's press the Run Test button to check how our code performs. And as expected, everything is working fine. Great job. Let's move on to the next exercise. See you soon.